Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 2, Episode 5. Sponsored by Wondrium. Round one, let's begin. If you try to get hand sanitizer while wearing a black glove, the automatic dispenser will not detect your hand and won't dispense hand sanitizer. There are no documented cases of hippos ever going into the ocean. If you put a small amount of water into a can, bring it to a boil, and then flip it over onto a pan with ice water, the can will be crushed. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, you'd be wrong. These hand sanitizer devices use an infrared sensor. When an object is underneath, the infrared light hits the object and bounces back to the sensor. The color black is really good at absorbing light, meaning light does not reflect off your hand and the sensor won't know it's there. This experiment also works, and here's what it looks like using a thermal camera. When you flip the can over into the pan of ice water, the hot water vapor inside the can is rapidly cooled, which decreases the pressure, creating a partial vacuum that crushes the can. Although hippos are primarily freshwater animals, there have been a few very rare circumstances where hippos were spotted in the ocean on the coast of sub-Saharan Africa. Next up, it's time for round two. If you take some toothpaste, a spoonful of cornstarch, and iron filings, mix it and add some water and then leave it in the sun to evaporate the excess water, you'll be left with a gooey putty that can be manipulated with a magnet. If you clink a carbonated beverage from above, the beverage will spill over. If you add milk to coke, the coke reacts with the milk and causes the milk to curdle. After a few hours, the drink will be clear enough that you can see through it. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this trick was fake because of this horrible jump cut, you'd be wrong. This trick does work and if you fall victim to this by an evil friend, you should also know that you can immediately stick your finger to block the opening, which prevents the disaster. Or if you want revenge, you can cover only part of the top and spray it back at them. This was not a real way to make magnetic putty. I just replaced the concoction with the magnetic putty that I got at the store while you weren't paying attention. Now it's time for a special round, round 2.5, which is a bonus round brought to you by the sponsor of today's video, Wondrium. The following topics in this round all come from cool things I learned while watching this show, understanding the misconceptions of science on Wondrium. Wondrium is a streaming service that has a ton of educational shows made by experts. Recently I've gotten more into running and it's been great to download shows and listen to them like a podcast. Wondrium is currently offering a free trial so you can see for yourself all the great shows they have. To get that free trial, visit wondrium.com slash jawdroppingscience or click the link in the description. Thanks for your support and now let's get into the bonus round, where of course the regular rules still apply. Let's begin. If you're wearing sunscreen that is SPF 15, that means you would need to stand in the sun for approximately 15 times longer to receive the same amount of UV exposure as wearing no sunscreen. Likewise, SPF 30 would mean you need to stand in the sun for 30 times longer. Because a DC powered light turns on almost immediately, you might think that the electrons must be moving very fast to get from the power supply to the light. But electrons actually move very slowly at around 0.1 millimeters per second. If you're stuck in a lightning storm, being inside a car is a safe place because the rubber tires are a really good insulator that prevents the electricity from reaching the ground. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. This video was real and that is what SBF refers to. Here's an additional chart to show you another way to visualize the difference. Although a metal car is for the most part a safe place to be during a lightning storm, at the voltage that lightning bolts are at, the rubber tires do not provide enough insulation to prevent the electricity from reaching the ground. It's the conductive metal frame of the car that carries the current around you and to the ground. Now it's time for the final round, round three. A Venus flytrap is called a carnivorous plant because it needs to eat insects to survive. Each trap needs around one housefly-sized insect per year. A plant like this is called a resurrection plant. A resurrection plant can go without water for around seven years. Then, once you soak it in water, the plant unravels and starts to turn green in a single 24-hour period. This cilantro plant is growing towards the sun. If you rotate the plant, the plant will move towards the light within just a few hours, and this time lapse was definitely not taken over multiple days. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. A resurrection plant can go without water for around 7 years, and here's what it looks like when it's rehydrating in a 24 hour time lapse. While Venus flytraps do consume insects, they do not need to and can get their required energy from photosynthesis just like any other plant. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.